Hello everyone, welcome back to TH Academy. Hope you guys are fine. So uh, today's topic is the most important topic in macroeconomics that is inflation. What we will learn, uh, what is inflation, its type, causes, effects, deflation and stagflation. So uh, this is not just a theory. Inflation is something that touches your daily life from the price of groceries to your salary. So uh, by the end of this lecture, you will understand how and why prices rise and what it means for people, businesses and governments. So start with the first slide that is, uh, what is inflation? Definition of inflation. So uh, let's start with the basic question. What is inflation? In simple words, inflation means prices in the economy are rising over time. Uh, for example, last year a pizza cost you dollar ten, ten dollars, right? So this year the same pizza cost you uh, twelve dollars. So that two dollars increase is inflation. But inflation is not about uh, one or two things getting expensive. It means that overall prices of goods and services in the economy are rising. So in economics, we say inflation is a sustained increase in the journal price level. So the rate of inflation tells us how fast prices are increasing each year. For example, if inflation is 8%, it means that on average prices are 8% higher than last year. Why does it matter? Because inflation re reduces your purchasing power. This means the same amount of money buys fewer goods. For example, if your salary doesn't increase, but prices do, you can afford less. This is why governments and central banks monitor inflation very closely. So now uh, let's discuss the first type of inflation that is demand pull inflation. There are basically two types of inflation, demand pull inflation and cost push inflation. So first we will discuss demand pull inflation. So demand pull inflation this happens when demand is greater than supply think of a concert ticket for example there are only 100 tickets but 500 people want them what happens people start offering more money to get a ticket and price rise this is the same in the economy if too many people want to buy goods and services but supply is limited prices naturally go up now, causes of demand pull inflation include higher consumer spending when people have more income, government spending like building new roads or hospitals, business investments that increase demand for machines and raw materials, strong economic growth where consumer confidence is high. So, economists often describe it as too much money chasing too few goods. So now let's discuss the second type of inflation that is cost push inflation. This is different. Here prices rise not because of demand but because of cost of production increases. For example, so for example, if oil prices suddenly go up, then transportation becomes more expensive factories pay more for energy and farmers pay more to run tractors. As a result, companies increase the price of goods. Other causes include higher wages. When workers are paid more, companies raise product prices. Raw materials shortage means like when flood destroy crops, making food more expensive. Supply chain disruptions, for example, during COVID-19 when shipping become, became very costly. In economics, this means the supply curve shifts left, leading to higher prices and sometimes lower output. So with cost put inflation, you don't only get higher prices, you also risk unemployment. Now let's discuss the causes of inflation. Now let's bring it together and see the main causes of inflation. First, demand pull factor. When demand is higher, the supply price rise. Next, cost push factors. When the cost of making goods increases, price rise. Monetary factors. When too much money is printed or government borrows and spends heavily, money loses its value. Expectations. Like if people expect prices to rise, 
workers demand higher wages and businesses increase price in advance creating a self fulfilling cycle now external shocks uh external shocks would be like um, global events like wars oil prices hikes or natural disaster make goods more expensive worldwide so inflation is usually a mix of both demand side and supply side reasons that's why controlling inflation is one of the hardest jobs of the for government like it is most important and hard job for government to control inflation now let's talk about deflation it is basically the opposite deflation means prices are falling over time at first this sounds good like like cheaper goods but actually it can hurt the economy here's why if people believe prices will fall in the future they may delay purchases for example if you think laptops will be cheaper next year you will not buy one today if everyone does this businesses lose sales reduce production and lay off workers so deflation leads to lower consumer spending lower economic growth higher unemployment japan faced this problem in the 1990s which is often called the lost decade so even falling prices can be dangerous for an economy now let's discuss the stagflation now we come to stagflation which is the one of the worst economic conditions the stagflation is when three things happen together number 1 prices are rising that is inflation the economy is not growing that is stagnation and unemployment is high so uh, this is a nightmare for policy makers because the usual solutions don't work for example if the government tries to reduce inflation it may slow down the economy even more and increase unemployment on the other hand if it tries to reduce unemployment inflation may rise even further so the most famous case was the 1970s oil crisis when oil prices shot up this made production costly unemployment rose and yet prices still increased so that is basically stagflation now let's discuss the effects of inflation uh now let's discuss how inflation affects different groups first consumers everyday items like food clothing and transport become more expensive if wages don't rise equally people's standards of living fall businesses companies find it harder to plan for the future because they don't know what their cost and profits will be government on one side the government collects more tax when price rise but on the other side inflation increases public debt pressure the economy a little inflation 2 to 3% is healthy it encourages a uh, spending and investment but very high inflation or hyper inflation destroy trust in money countries like uh, zimbabwe and venezuela faced this where money lost almost its value so inflation is uh, like medicine like a small dose is healthy but too much can be deadly so if we sum up all the uh, inflation like inflation means rising prices it can be caused by demand pull cost push monetary factors or external shocks deflation is falling prices which also has risk stagflation is the worst mix like inflation with high unemployment so inflation affects everyone people business and government that's why this topic is important not only in, in your economic course but uh, also in your daily life so this is it for today if you find this lecture helpful please like comment and subscribe to th academy your support helps me create more simple and clear videos for students all over the world so thank you for watching bye bye